It's National Engineering Week, and to celebrate, I highly recommend catching the New Mexico Museum of Natural History's latest touring exhibition. Even if you are not an engineer, the inspirational work of Leonardo da Vinci will open your eyes to a world of infinite possibility. He is among the greatest minds in human history. His is the hand behind the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. And New Mexico has a rare opportunity to see the work of Leonardo da Vinci up close. What da Vinci was was a very unique individual. He had a passion for curiosity and he observed how nature related to man's and its activities and he was able to look at the connection between multiple disciplines and this cross connection between disciplines is really what was unique and key to his ability to invent. Deborah Dixon is a civil engineer who has spent more than 30 years in the field and she sees Da Vinci the genius now showing at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History as a great learning opportunity. I understand this relationship between having an exhibit such as this that reaches out to the students throughout the state of New Mexico and being able to have them understand the genius of Da Vinci and how it relates to engineering. To say he was well ahead of his time is an understatement. Among Da Vinci's catalog of creations is the aerial screw, predecessor to the helicopter, war machines like the giant crossbow, and ideal cities of tomorrow. But what makes Da Vinci's work so compelling is his marriage of science with art, a concept that has become popular in education today. Arts is a new item to this STEM uh, career disciplines, and it's to combine things like architecture and to recognize this cross-connection between disciplines with the technological fields. Traditionally, science and math has been taught as separate, discrete subjects. But what we've learned is in the last decade that a STEAM curriculum education is a blended learning environment. And by taking that cross connections between disciplines, we are seeing improvements in kids' learning ability about technical fields. As guests immerse themselves in this comprehensive exhibition, they'll find it more and more difficult to discern where science ends and art begins. The revolutionary mind of da Vinci created solutions for a better tomorrow and had a constant eye on the aesthetic, giving a pleasing look to a practical machine. That was his genius. He combined science with arts. He combined humanities with technology. And in those ways, through his curiosity, through his observation, he was able to compare those uh, eg examples in nature of how we are similar in our bodies, uh, just like our blood flow through veins is similar to streams and rivers on the earth. And he used the flight of bird to inspire his thought that man could fly. And so da Vinci is a great example of kids being able to make it relatable to what the potential is in them to be an innovator, to be a scientist, an engineer, an architect, a uh, researcher in today's world and carry us into the 21st century. But there's a problem with the current state of engineering education. The U.S. is challenged right now. We need more and more technical experts. However, we're having a difficult time interesting students to become engaged in STEM careers. You know, engineers usually are interested in the career because someone has influenced them to be inspired uh, and to even to understand it. But as Dixon says, there is a solution. They need mentors. Uh, they need to meet and dis have interactions with professionals in the STEAM careers to help them understand how to connect the dots between Da Vinci is, you know, ahead of his time in, in concepts for flight, for uh, planned cities, for hydraulic uh, and machines that help move water. Um, but to understand how that could be related to a STEM discipline or a STEM career, they're going to need to experience other events, other education and training in order to understand where they might fit in themselves.
Throughout the run of Da Vinci, the museum has numerous events planned for students of all ages, engaging the youngest of thinkers with questions about the intersection of art and science. I think the exhibit itself can be very relatable to these students in a way that if they are able to observe Da Vinci's success and his inventions, hopefully they'll ask the question, well, how could I be like Da Vinci in today's world? Now, this touring exhibition has a limited engagement at the museum, and if you would like more information on it, just head over to foxnewmexico.com.